All included content is publicly sourced and used under the USA Fair Use and UK Fair Dealing Guidelines. The things I say are strictly my opinion. Hello, hello, hello again, you guys. It's the Busy V, and I'm here with the latest round of that royalty. And the kettle is pretty hot today, so let's spill. Uh, before I get started, I just uh, wanted to say real quick... Um, when I woke up this morning and I was looking at YouTube, I saw I had two subscribers at just starting out, and I really wanted to thank both of you. It means, you know, the world to me. And I wanted to thank Mika Kuruka, I hope I'm saying that right, for her lovely comments on the videos. I have it right here, let me see. There we go. As you see, Mika Karuka, and uh, she left some lovely comments on all of my videos. I really cracked up when I read some of them. Thank you very much. Uh, so, last night, I, uh, I wasn't feeling too well. My stomach was feeling a little queasy, and I felt like I needed to, sorry, but throw up a little bit. I, I just wouldn't come up, so, you know, I... Uh, turned on YouTube and watched one of Megan's scenes from Suits, and uh, it came right up. Uh, what great acting it was, <laughs> but for real. I was, uh, I, w I watched a few scenes from uh, Suits, doing a little research, and uh, it wasn't the best acting, I have to admit, but um, I also watched an interesting interview that she and her co-star from Suits did with Larry King, and it was so... Uh, it was really sickening, actually. She was shamelessly flirting with Larry King. I uh, he he introduced her Meghan Markle from Suits, yes, and uh, he said your character is kind of seductive, and she gave him that look and said, "Do you want her to be seductive, Larry?" Oh my goodness, she just she would shamelessly flirt with anyone, anything to get ahead, right? Anything to get ahead. So, I was watching uh. I'm sorry, <laughs> it's early here. I not watching. I was uh, looking in an article. I saw someone said Megan was irrelevant and no one cares. Megan and Harry, Mooch and Meg and Halfwit Harry. No, they're not irrelevant, are they? Well, who said it? Well, it kind of wasn't a surprise who said it. Beers Morgan, one of Megan's uh, biggest critics, uh, according to the Daily Star. Co. Uk. Piers Morgan brands Meghan Markle irrelevant despite previous apology. It alleges that the Good Morning Britain host Piers Morgan has called Meghan Markle and Prince Harry utterly irrelevant in his latest interview. This comes despite the fact he previously admitted he took Meghan, crit Meghan criticism too far. The article reads, Piers has branded Meg and Harry utterly irrelevant in his latest interview. The jibe comes despite the Good Morning Britain presenter previously admitting he took criticism about Meghan too far. Letting rip, Piers fumed, I don't really care about them anymore. They seem so utterly irrelevant, stuck in their rented Hollywood mansion, desperately trying to get attention. No one cares. The rant comes as Piers told The Sun's TV mag, he's glad many celebs have been put back in their box amid the lockdown. <laughs> well, of course. Yes, she's irrelevant. She, what has she done big besides Mary Harry? I mean, come on. Look, look, I pulled up her uh, MDB, IMDB page here. Let's take a look. Suits. A USA cable drama. It wasn't even syndicated. Okay. She was in that, and uh, that, that's the biggest thing that she's ever done. Dater's Handbook here. A Hallmark TV movie. Antisocial. Never heard of it. When Sparks Fly, another uh, Hallmark movie, Random Encounters, Hallmark slash Lifetime. She had a, a guest starring role in Castle. Let's see here, Suits, the biggest thing that she did. I pulled up the cast for Suits. One, two, three, four, five. The fifth person down, not even the star of the, the uh, cable drama. So, let's see. Where were we? So the article from the Daily Star goes on to say, Piers added, I don't miss the celebrity stuff at all. Celebrities have been put back firmly in their box. The real stars are the health workers. They're the people we need to value the highest. 
Uh, yes, they absolutely are. I totally agree with that comment. Support the health workers. They're the real stars right now. Who cares about Halfwit Harry and Mooch and Meg? She puts out a new PR SS puff piece every day. She cannot stand to be out of the papers for even one day. The world is blowing up around her. She doesn't care. Puff pieces coming out daily. Megan is so great. Megan's a good mother. Megan calls the animal charity. Who cares? She cannot stand to be out of the papers for one solid day, folks. Pierce told the Sunday Times, Have I taken things a bit too far? Probably. Do I think that will govern and temper how I talk about them going forward? Absolutely. It's the stuff that is substantial, particularly when people's lives are at stake, that seems to galvanize my personality into the best possible place. And it's times of relative peace, calm, quiet, and dare I say boredom, and dare I say boredom that might occasionally bring out the worst in me. He added, having squabbles with people who are never going to change their mind in a million years about stuff that no longer seems remotely important. And I couldn't agree more with that. What's the point of arguing with people over things like politics? And I mean, I know here in America, people are divided about politics and you can't change anyone's mind about anything. What's the point of going on about it? You're not going to change anyone's mind. So <laughs> just to uh, drive home the fact that uh, they are irrelevant. She's a terrible actress. Let's uh, take a look at the reviews from Elephant. I pulled this up. I found it on independent.co.uk. Uh, just a review of her Elephant Disney movie that she narrated. Sickeningly sweet. Variety said Megan does an inviting version of the wholesome but amused Disney narrator sing song as she delivers lines like, Shani has already lost track of Jomo. There he is. Jomo twirls his trunk around in the water like a helicopter. Oh, what is he doing? It's time for a pool party. Which looks more like a happy mud party. Um, there are some fascinating scenes and set pieces, especially a little calf having to be rescued from, one's, from one pool's churned up mud, and the elephants getting water by tearing the bark from the baobab trees. But again and again, Megan is given outrageously unverifiable things to say, such as, Gaia remembers these birds leading her mother to the water. And Shayna later supposedly looks back on all the lessons she learned from Gaia. Yeah, it's sickeningly sweet, okay. Before I head out of here, you guys, I wanted to share with you a couple of cute tweets I saw. Sugar Free Zone stated, It's her turn in the cell as Megan checks in with the women of the hub and community kitchen from her new home in L.A. And then Gu Jr., I thought this was really cute. Uh, Harry only has one shirt. Look at this. He's wearing the same shirt when he goes out with Megan to hand out the food, then in a Zoom call, and a picture of a closet full of gray shirts. But anyway, I just wanted to uh, thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Thank you again to both the subscribers I have so far. I've only been doing this four days now. I really appreciate it. And again, to Mika for commenting.